Hello there everyone. This is going to be a short tutorial about a floor selection um, elevator that I pretty sure I didn't invent but might have reinvented. Um, basically uh, it's the the normal uh, spiral elevator uh, like we have over here um, which you can just kind of enter and ride up. Sorry if that was a little bit loud. Um, but this one um, is a little bit wider just because I like to use sticky pistons in these elevators um, so your head doesn't get uh, stuck um, in the piston arm. Uh, so whenever we will enter this one, I, if you... let me see if I can trick it. There we go. As you can tell, uh, the actual wall blocks get pushed out and that happens the whole way up. Um, so it's uh, actually a little bit wider um, in the full design. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Um, basically, uh, we're just going to ride it the whole way up. So I'm just going to put it all the way to the top. Um, on our way up, you'll actually see a door. There it is, and we passed it. Uh, that was the second floor. And uh, now we're at the, nor the, the third floor. Um, if we ever needed to go to the second floor um, from... Uh, from this ground level, what we do is we just select second floor, um, get in, and we would end up, here we are, at second floor, floor two. Floor three is right up there. Um, and if from this point, uh, we wanted to go up to floor three instead of going down for some reason or anything, uh, we just get in the elevator, um, the whole way in, and uh, hit the button. So a couple of features that are different between uh, this elevator and other ones is that, um, of course, it has the floor selection, but what I call easy floor selection as well. Um, you don't have to have uh, switches or anything. There's just basically two buttons. I know it's kind of hard to see on this. I should have chose a different block type, but basically it's two buttons. Um, that's just connected to a simple RS NOR latch, um, which controls our what I call the controlling block, um, which is right here. Uh, from the normal uh, spiral elevators, which I'm pretty sure I should get a link and put it in the description, um, this corner block is what uh, is actually an active block. So there is some sort of redstone going in and redstone coming out of it. So this is a powered block. By removing this, uh, you stop the current from going up uh, this wire right here and continuing up the spiral. Uh, so that basically makes it so you stop at this level. So uh, this RS NOR latch uh, controls that block. So right now that piston up there, which is being activated by this long line of vertical uh, torches, um, is, there he goes, uh, being, uh, that's pulled back in, that block's pulled back in, and now it's pushed back out. So, and that's controlling uh, which floor we're going to. Now, uh, easy floor selection also um, involves uh, going from the second floor to the third. The current design that I have here that I will be in this video is uh, only a three floor design or selecting between two floors just because I don't feel like doing any crazy uh, <laughs> crazy uh, redstone logic when it comes to choosing which floor to go to. This is just a simple choose this floor or go past it basically. Um, you have to do a lot of fun little logic with which uh, block gets pulled back. Uh, yeah, what I was saying about easy floor selection um, is if you're on floor two and you want to go up one level, um, normally you'd be able to walk down these staircases. Um, and if you ever uh, created some sort of pathway or, I don't know, whatever, it's really, really hard <laughs> to basically line yourself up um, to continue your way up. Um, this button here controls... Um, this wire, which actually um, just basically, instead of uh, sending the wire, the, the current the whole way up, kind of starts it at the level you're at and pushes you the rest of the way up. But uh, as a default, this backstop goes up. So you don't have to worry about going too far in and missing, uh, uh, you know, g g uh, the block missing you, uh, pushing out, or you're not far enough in, or whatever. Uh, this backstop automatically comes out, so you can just hit this, turn around, and hit the button. 
and you are brought all the way up to the next level. Um, that feature is actually controlled by this right here. Um, this wire um, is actually uh, being controlled by the piston. Let me sh see if I can get in there for you. Let me just get rid of these. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So there is a piston right here that pushes me up this direction. Um, but on default, the this area is blocked off so that um, if I ever wanted to come downstairs, uh, I would uh, be able to. There we go. I would be able to hit this backstop. Now, uh, I don't want this piston to extend before this retracts. So that's kind of why this long wire is here and I didn't run it from a different place. Um, is because uh, this piston is the one that would push us into those blocks. So I want to grab that current before it activates. And uh, there's a little bit of, del of a delay here so that this wa wire is actually one torch delay faster than this piston, which means that the backstop will retract before um, we get in. Okay, I'm going to set this back up. And we are going to uh, go ahead and build one of these things. Let's go up to the top. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start building this. Um, as you can see in my hotbar, uh, these are basically the only supplies you're going to need um, to build one of these. So uh, any basic building block, um, some sort of stair, doesn't really matter what kind, um, half step, which uh, really is one of the most important parts of uh, this floor right here um, is this half step um, and I'll show you why as soon as we're building um, and uh, your normal redstone components sticky pistons and a single um, normal piston for this backstop right here so we're gonna go down and uh, build another one uh, right adjacent to this so what we're gonna do is start off with a 6x6 six six base Let's make this correct. <laughs> Oops. And uh, in that 6x6 base, we want to um, make it twice double thick. Um, this area in the middle um, will be all the stairs. So we're actually going to make this one facing the other direction for no good reason. So uh, you want to place your stairs uh, kind of like this. Um, in this kind of fashion. Um, around those stairs you want to run the wall all the way up. Um, this six base is just for uh, just so you know how wide uh, the general structure is going to be. Uh, it's, it's six by six the whole way up um, except for these little places uh, around your floor. So the floor selection wires stick out a few extra. Um, all this wiring could be reduced down a little bit smaller. Um, for example, I could run the wire um, in this area and you wouldn't really see it um, just because uh, that you can't see through these blocks. But I don't really you know, feel like it for right now. You guys could reduce the wiring if you'd like. So uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up. I like to fill in this first area and sometimes I'll add glowstone, but most of the times I won't. <laughs> okay, uh, what now what you want to do is go ahead and dig down for your first uh, selection wire. And actually it goes this way. Boop. Awesome. Here, I like to keep this open, um, this part right here open for future use. You want to run wire right here and actually you want to add a repeater and these repeaters are just the delay um, it takes for you whenever you enter the uh, uh, the elevator for that first piston to activate usually I will uh, put about a five or six second delay but for this I'm gonna probably just put a five um, I'm gonna fill this back in with whatever your favorite block is uh, and I do recommend keeping this open just so you can change the, the delay anytime you'd like. 
fill this back in and add our pressure plate. Yes, I know I'm adding a couple of extra things that I said we didn't really need, but forgot about them. Now, uh, as you know, this, this core will be extended the whole way. Let's go ahead and do that. Not the whole way, but more. And of course the stairs will continue the whole way up. So the first piston right here um, is actually going to go right, oops, there we are, right here. Um, and we'll fill that block back in. The next one will push us um, up this staircase, so it needs to be right here. Um, and you can actually make this a little bit thicker for your facade if you don't want to see um, that piston, but I really don't care most of the time. For this tutorial, it really doesn't matter. Um, so that whole pattern will um, extend the whole way up. So you're going to add piston and put the block back in. You're going to add your piston. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to do. Um, and put your block back in. Uh, follow the same process the whole way up um, until you get uh, to your next floor. Um, for the wiring for each one of these uh, e these corners, uh, I'm going to actually delete these blocks to show you guys how it kind of works. So now that all the pistons are in place, I actually have a torch coming up, um, which really is not too necessary. Um, and just for the stakes, sake of uh, the same wiring. Actually, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and wire this up the correct way. Mm. Oh, that's right. This is going like this. There we go. Yeah, it's been a little while since I did the original version. This is just for the sake of making every single wire look the same. Um, and what you're going to do is add blocks uh, like this. So to the right of the piston, you're going to add uh, two blocks. So one, two. And on top of the piston, you're going to add three. So one, two, three. This corner block, add an extra one on top. Uh, that'll be our floor selector block or our active block, whatever you'd like to call it. So you follow that same pattern the whole way around. Um, and like I said, this wiring could be reduced um, a lot. So another piston would go here, for example. Let's fill that floor in. Okay, and to place uh, the redstone, um, I'm just going to do this one because uh, the first one's a little bit different. Uh, after the selector block, uh, you place a repeater set to two. Uh, set to one, uh, kind of have problems with it. I've had problems with it. I don't know if everybody else has. You, and then you add uh, your redstone wire on top of that. So you're going to add the repeater after, this, after the selector block and then your wire. Repeater set to two and your wire. Repeater, oops. Repeater set to two and wire. And you're going to follow that the whole way up. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then we'll start on the selection. Okay, now that that's done, um, I've actually extended it just a little bit and um, have figured out which floor I'm going to use. Um, your floors, be sure when you're building this uh, to orient it that so whenever you uh, get into the elevator, um, the floor that you are leaving on is actually in the opposite direction, just so you don't have to turn around after you get out of your elevator. Um, so let's go ahead and jump up to the floor um, that I actually selected. It's this hole right here. Um, so as soon, so this is the floor we want to use. At this point, um, what you want to do is add a uh, set of stairs, and you have to be a little bit creative with the wiring ahead of it, just so, uh, just because you actually do have to go up um, part ways. So basically, what you want to do is, since that this wire and this block here will interfere, is um, delete both of those blocks and connect this piston um, like this. Um, instead of the normal wire goes into the piston block, um, you add 
the block to the right, and put the wire on top. Uh, it still functions the exact same way. So, also, uh, the other trick to making this floor selection work, um, and you to be able to jump out of here, uh, and the wire to actually get you to there, is you can't place a block here. So, like I said, the important part about this is either you use a half slab or you use a staircase. So you can either walk up and into your um, your elevator, um, kind of like this, or uh, what I would use is uh, the the new upside down half slabs, uh, which actually give the illusion of a solid floor. So what you do is you pay, place a block above. So we are exiting through here. What you want to do is place the block above and place your half slab under it. Gives the illusion of a solid floor. And you can place blocks on either side to cover up uh, any expe you know, potential wiring. And this will be our floor. Okay. Now to make this work, we need to pull away um, the block um, in the opposite corner, not opposite, uh, same side, but the back corner uh, of this. So this block right here. So our exit's here, we need to pull out this block. Um, and the way to do that would be with a uh, sticky piston. And I'm actually going to put it on the side over here. So if we give power to this, um, and for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I'm not going to explain you know, the, the length of wire um, it takes and all that stuff, vertical wiring and whatever. Uh, but basically that's going to se select our floor. So we would stop here or we would continue past it. Continue past it, stop here. So we're going to stop on this floor. Also, the other thing what you want to do to add is uh, the backstop. And the way to do this is go back down here. Um, if you go ahead and delete this block, you'll see a sticky piston. Um, you can place that one back in. Uh, but uh, you want to delete this block right here. Not this block. You want to keep this block, but delete the one above it. Um, there should be nothing there um, behind it except for another solid block. And you want to place your piston, normal piston, there. Um, can be sticky, but there really isn't too much of a point. Now to activate this wiring, what you want to do is pull off of here um, and go all the way around to, let me grab myself one of these, there we are, to this uh, side over here. Um, as I explained before, you're grabbing the signal before it pushes you into that backstop. So we're going to grab and pull a wire all the way around. And yes, of course, this wiring can be reduced if needed. Um, so, you know, to hug closer or whatever. Here we go. And boom. But a uh, big problem with this is that, of course, things start to uh, kind of get clumped together. So what I did is I actually placed a repeater up there and changed this to one. So we have one one, so that's a two second delay. Actually, yes, I think that's what I did, or two and one, just so you have a a, a little bit of a pause um, as soon as you get to this light, uh, height. Okay, um, and basically now our uh, floor selection is done. As you can tell, our backstop is up. As soon as we go down um, and get into the elevator, since we have selected um, for us to go to floor two and not continue past it, we will actually end up there. And here we are. And our backstop, our backstop is back in. Awesome. So let's go ahead and make the what I call a continue button. Um, let's see, where did I put this? <laughs> it's been a little while since I've made one of these. I did this, pulled it around and did this. Okay. So what you want to do is actually place your continue button on this block um, in the doorway itself. So if let's continue and make this uh, the actual doorway. It's in the doorway itself. It's not in the spiral staircase part. You want to place it here. 
um, and you want to run a wire uh, outside on these blocks, place a repeater here, um, and I've set it at the max delay, just so that as soon as you push the button, um, it doesn't instantly push you. So it gives you a little bit of a delay before it pushes you up the rest of the stairs. And that's it. Um, basically, that that's uh, the, your working elevator. So let's go ahead and, since we know it goes up to the next floor, let's head up to the top floor um, with our selection block pushed back in. Um, and it should bring us up past that first floor. Oops. What happened here? What happened? This one... Hmm. Oh. Ah. I think this is my problem. There we go. Good thing I caught that. That's what you have to do. <laughs> Um, just like we had done on the other side uh, with this wiring, we had pushed it up one block. Um, you have to do this as well over here um, so that the signal actually can be carried upwards uh, and passed. So good thing I caught that <laughs> or tried it before I stopped the video. So now let's go all the way up to the top. There we go. And that actually brought us up past our doorway. So. That's the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope this helps out.